Hello and greetings. This is, um, try that again. This is a video response to the gentleman and the woman that happened to come to my aid earlier on today when I uh, got physically attacked. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you both, that is, sincerely. Because you were the only two witnesses that were involved that happened to see the whole thing. I will be pressing charges. Um, I am taking this to the courts. I'm also taking it to the police. The police are already, like I said, in the middle of turning it into a lawsuit, as you will. So chances are, if you happen to come across this video, I may well need you to come forward in order to stand trial against those that physically attacked me today in order to give your testimonies to the law. I will however have the gospel at hand in order to get through to the law if they happen to let them get away with this degenerative behaviour because I happen to know the law, like I said, better than the law knows itself. And like I said, I'm not going to be tolerating any disrespectful behaviour within anyone. I don't care who you are. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what your status is. I don't even care whether you're a bodybuilder, a security guard, a door bouncer. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, I will end you, like I said, I will end those of you that feel it necessary to take advantage of a genuine person that wants to see everybody else succeed just as much as they want to succeed. And I'm not referring to necessarily succeeding, you know, after worldly status, but biblical status. So, thank you, like I said bearing witness today um, I haven't forgotten are you getting on I haven't forgotten and I don't know your names although I will however keep you within my prayers and I will pray unto God the Father and his son Jesus Christ that they actually in fact Give, uh, give you the truth, you know, as to the situation that took place and unfolded today. The attack, on the other hand, I can live with that, you know, that's not a problem. It's the fact that they brought my dead grandma into the equation that happened to die from a heart attack. Bearing in mind, she's not even here to defend herself. That's going below the belt. I don't care who you are at the end of the day. Out there, that is. This, you know, excludes the witnesses, by the way. I'm talking in general of the people here. If you have to bring a dead, deceased, or should I say, if you have to bring a deceased loved one into your games, your motives, in order to act cool, you're an arsehole. You're a special kind of retard. You're a waste of oxygen. You're a... You, in, in other words, you should have been swallowed, you know, when you were actually in the in the middle of being thought of, you know, you should have been swallowed. People like you, you're not even entitled, nor do you deserve to walk the same path that I walk in life. You're an absolute disgrace. You're a moron. You're a fool. You're an absolute idiot. But it's okay though, like I said, those of you that attacked me today that felt it necessary to bring my dead deceased grandma into the equation, bearing in mind she's not here to protect herself nor defend herself, you're going to reap the same pain and suffering you inflicted upon me today. Your friends are going to stab you in the back, your girlfriends are going to cheat on you, and you are going to be left with nothing to show for what you accomplished today. And then we'll see just how big and hard you really claim to be.
especially like I said when I've taken this to court and I happen to fight this in court we both know that you're going to act like scared cocky shitless little kids with the tails tucked between your legs crying onto the judges when they begin to give their sentence their verdict I am not standing down and I am not going to let you get away with this you have made this personal by bringing my deceased family into the equation. Like I said, physically attacking me today, I can live with that. That's not a problem. But bringing my deceased family into the equation that aren't here to protect themselves, you are scum. You're an absolute scumbag. And you deserve every ounce of pain and suffering that the world inflicts upon you later through your worldly programmed emotions of frustration, anxiety, agoraphobia, fear, depression, and only God knows what else as a form of punishment for your actions. Maybe, just maybe, these worldly programmed emotions, as you will, will actually correct your degenerative, asshole-like behavior. You're not above me, you're not above God the Father, you're not above Jesus Christ. And they are going to make that known, trust me, through your connections with other people. Your lives are going to fail you, and you are going to have nothing to show for these years of your life that you've wasted. Absolutely nothing. And let this be a life lesson, that if you're going to go around acting like someone you're not, the truth is going to reveal itself. And you're going to be left crying like the scared little sissies you really are. I don't care, like I said, who you are at the end of the day. Physic uh, physically attack someone, you know, we can work with it, we can live with it. But bring a deceased loved one that's no longer here to defend themselves. Nah, that's going below the belt. I don't care who you are. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to stop at nothing until I have made your lives a living hell. Until I have taken every little ounce of your dignity away from you. And maybe, just maybe, this will get you thinking twice before running your degenerative little arsehole mouths off to me. To those of you, like I said, that hey, uh, come to my aid today, thank you, I do appreciate it. You know, and I also respect the support. I also thank you for bearing witness today to the whole test, uh, the, the whole situation, as you will. And if you do happen to come across this video, please come forward with your identities, your names, because, like I said, this is going to be taken to the law. You know, um, I am pressing charges, not because of this, due to the fact that they brought my dead grandma into this. You know. I'm, like I said, I can let a lot of things slide, but to bring my deceased family into this, no, nah, you've just made it personal. You have made an enemy, you know, I don't care who you are, like I said, you have made an enemy of me. Peace also be with each and every, um, should I say the both of you today, even might I add, peace be with you. I know that you are unconditionally loved, respected and appreciated for your part in bearing witness today. I also thank the gentleman for trying to get through to me in regards to not letting it get to me, if that makes sense, in here and in here. In other words, to enjoy the rest of the day even by not... Um, letting it affect my psychological health even. I respect that and I appreciate that too. Like I said, I'm one for giving credit, you know, where it's due. If people have actually earned it. And you guys today that come to my aid actually earned, you know, this, uh, this praise, as you will. You know, this uh, token of gratitude, appreciation. Because everybody else, like I said, were driving on past. They weren't even acknowledging what was going on. Because they were living their own life. Which isn't a problem, like I said.
if you do happen to come across this video please come forward leave your identities upon the video link if you can that is if you ha even have facebook for that matter or even a youtube account um i know that the police may well come knocking for you um not to exploit you you know or anything like that but rather to get your witness statement for the way that these guys treated me today in other words they may need you within the courts later on as witness to what happened because you were the only guys there drink plenty be safe and know that God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ love you peace